All right, we want the linear approximation now, or the linearization of the function 1 over x centered at the value a equals 2. Again, our formula for linearization is just the equation of a tangent line. So why don't we start by finding a derivative, and that'll give us the slope of our tangent line. Now recall that the function that we're given here of 1 over x can be written in a slightly more convenient form for taking derivatives. 1 over x can be written in the form x to the negative first power. Then to take a derivative of that, we just use the power rule, which gives us negative x to the negative 2 power. And maybe a more convenient form for that is negative 1 over x squared. Okay, that gives us the slope of our curve at any x value. We want the slope at a equals 2. So we're going to plug in x equals 2 into this derivative, and that's going to give us negative 1 fourth as our slope. And that slope we're going to plug into our formula right here. We're going to plug in a equals 2 right here. The last ingredient we need is f of 2. Uh, in this form over here, we would have 2 to the negative first power. Of course, that was just 1 over 2. So our function evaluated at the x value 2 is just 1 half. We're going to plug that one half in right here, and we're going to get ourselves a final answer. I plugged everything in. Now we can distribute this negative one-fourth through the parentheses, which gives us this line right here. A one-half plus another uh, two-fourths is just another one-half. just gives us one. And we have the equation of a line negative one-fourth x plus one. That is our final answer.